I love videos that need zero preparation. And this is one of those videos. This video was inspired by a community tab post. So thank you for giving me recommendations about what video you want to see next on this channel. The highest response was my community wanted to see my everyday carry as a filmmaker. What do I carry to work? What do I carry to, on a freelance gig, etc. This is my everyday carry setup. If you were to run into me on the street, I most likely have this backpack on my person and I'm carrying all of this stuff with me. I'll start with the boring-ish stuff that are just on my person all of the time, starting with my cell phone. I'm currently uh, on iPhone systems and I have the XR right now, which I know is a very old iPhone, but I am getting the iPhone 15 Pro Max here in the next couple of weeks or so. So that's the phone. I also have an Apple Watch Series 5 that I have on me at all times, which I really enjoy when I'm out in the field shooting so that I don't have to always have my phone out. I can see notifications come to my watch. It's really helpful. I of course have a wallet. I kind of like these small, really tiny wallets that are more like a card clip where you can put some cash in as well. In my left pocket, I always carry a flashlight. I love using using flashlights because anytime you're doing production work, especially in live environments, a lot of times when you're indoors, there's not a lot of light and you need to be able to set up cameras and tripods, all that jazz, and you need a light on you. So I can't tell you how often this flashlight comes in handy and it's way brighter than your phone flashlight. So I carry a light on me. In my left pocket, I always carry a pocket knife at all times because you never know as a, as a filmmaker, like what kind of things you're gonna have to open when you are on set or whatever you're doing, whatever you're filming. Oftentimes I find myself opening packages, boxes, cutting zip ties, all of the weird things you do as a filmmaker, um, so I carry a knife. In the right pocket, this is more just a personal thing that I carry, uh, but I carry pepper spray with me at all times because you never know when you're walking late at night to your car. I mean, you get the picture. You know why you would carry pepper spray. So I keep pepper spray on me in my right pocket at all times with my phone. So this is all that is on my physical person, but that's because I always carry a backpack with me everywhere I go. This is the backpack that I use on a daily basis. So let's dive into the contents. This backpack is from the company Wandered, and I don't think they actually make this backpack anymore. I've had it for about three years and my wife and I actually have the exact same backpack. We use it for all of our filmmaking and photography needs. Anytime we go shoot a wedding, or I'm on set somewhere, I always bring this with me. And this has all of my personal items that I take alongside all of my production gear. Starting with the side, I always carry a water bottle on me. This is just a black hydro flask that I love taking everywhere I go. I always need water. I refill this thing. It's awesome. Zipping up the front of the bag, we always have an adapter. This is helpful for any sort of computer that just has a USB-C port, but you need HDMI or USB-A or an SD card slot. I always keep this dongle adapter with me at all times. We have a couple of USB-C cables. And then finally, a bunch of hard drives. I have one, two, three, four, five hard drives that I carry with me, SSD hard drives at all times. These have varying use cases, whether it's production work or weddings or for the college that I work for. There's all sorts of things that go on these different hard drives and they're dedicated for certain projects. I also back up all of this content on my server at my house. So everything's backed up in multiple locations. Okay, opening up the top of the bag, we have a bunch of pens, okay? We have a, a normal black pen and a red ballpoint pen. We have a pink highlighter that I love highlighting things. As a producer, I'm always making highlights on certain documents that I'm producing on, so I love having a highlighter with me. I also, this is my favorite pen actually, it's the Sharpie S-Gel pens. Take a look at that right there. I'll make sure to link all this in the description, but one of my favorite pens to use. And then I also have uh, an Apple pencil with me as well. So those are all the writing utensils. Always gotta keep my Burt's Bees chapstick with me, the best chapstick in the world. These are the first generation AirPods that I keep in the top pocket. I don't use them all the time, but I do use them on occasion and they're helpful for any sort of uh, commuting where I need a wireless headset system. I just keep these on me in case I'm uh, in the car or on a commute or even on a flight and I need a quick pair of headphones to access, I will grab these. In this top slot, I also always keep a couple of spare batteries for any cameras that I have with me in my bag. Okay, the next thing we can grab would be reaching into the side of this backpack and we can unzip the side to reach contents on the inside. And I would um, carry with me at all times some sort of camera to use for actual production work. So this camera with me today is the Sony a7 IV with the Sony 24 to 70 2.8 version one, okay? So I love this camera setup. It's amazing. It basically does anything I need it to do for both photo and video work. And it's not the most expensive camera that I own. So I feel okay about taking the risk of you know, as I, as I weigh the total value of everything in this bag, if I were to lose my camera, I mean, it's not the most expensive camera I own. So I'm okay taking this with me wherever I go. 
I always take my backpack in with me because I've had stuff stolen before, which is just a, a disaster when that happens. So I keep my backpack with me at all times, but if something were to happen and I'd lose my backpack, at least it's not my Sony FX3 or my Sony A1. You know, it's it still is a really nice camera, but it's not one of those. So the A7 IV tends to be my everyday carry and the lens changes depending on the situation that I'm in for that week. Okay, opening up to the main compartment inside, we actually have another camera body and I always have a camera on me that I'm currently doing a review about. So right now I'm reviewing all of these Sony NEX series cameras. So today the camera on me that I'll be shooting with for the next few weeks is the Sony NEX F3. This is a super old camera. Um, it's actually pretty sick. I've liked using it over the past few days and I'm gonna use it a little bit more to get some more content for the review. So that's the NEX F3. Okay, for my computer, I use the uh, MacBook Pro. This is the 16 inch, the M1 Max, I believe. So it really is just a high quality laptop that gets me really good results for editing video. That's the primary focus that I use my computer for is, of course I use it for business and updating my website or emailing clients, project inquiries, all that stuff. But the primary purpose is editing photos and editing videos. And I do all of my YouTube editing on this computer right here. In here, we also have an iPad Pro that I use for all sorts of things. The thing I love to use the iPad the most for actually is to use it as a second display with my computer if I don't have a dual monitor set up, anywhere on the go, I can have two screens. I can have this screen pulled up with like project management software, email, etc., and then this running my video production software. I can be editing videos while mirroring screens and having multiple screens, all of this stuff. So I love having a dual monitor set up with me at any time. And the iPad's just nice for reading or just scrolling and on social media or something with a larger display. This bag is crazy. It opens all the way up so you can access like any pocket at any given time. So I'll show you just what are in some of these other pockets. We do have uh, a charger for the MacBook. In this slot, we do have some more pens. I always like to keep pens on me for a variety of situations. Sometimes my talent needs a pen to write something down or I need to, at weddings, sometimes people forget the pen to sign the marriage license. So I always have an extra pen in my bag. And I think one of the last things I actually have are a wired set of Apple headphones that I use for a lot of my editing purposes. I like a wired headphone connection. So if I'm gonna do serious audio editing, I'll use, I have my Bose headphones over here, but they don't come with me on a daily basis. If I'm doing just basic video editing out and about, I'll use my wired Apple headphones, or I could use my AirPods first gen. And I have the newer AirPods as well, but I tend to use those for working out and traveling. And so sometimes those are in a different kit, like my gym bag or my travel bag. Also, one more thing, I always carry a carabiner on me, just depending on what I'm doing. Uh, I like to have a carabiner. So I actually use the carabiner to, do, to attach to my zipper, uh, which is super helpful. And I can just always have it on me that way. And in case I need it, I have it. So this is everything I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. It's actually pretty scaled back from what I used to carry. I would carry different cameras and multiple lenses and all sorts of things. But over the years, I've realized that if I'm going to be shooting content, I'll bring a dedicated content bag. And if I'm just going about my day-to-day -day business, I will carry a camera or something, but it tends to be focused around pre-production and post-production processes rather than production where I'm actually filming and working with clients, that's the production phase. I usually have dedicated equipment for that. This is more for client work and meetings, editing, etc. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to comment down below what is in your everyday carry kit as a filmmaker or a photographer, or if you do something else, just let me know. What do you carry every day for your tech setup? I'd love to know, what am I missing here? Is there something obvious that you carry every day that you're surprised that I don't carry? I'd love to know that. Again, Everything in this video, I'll link down in the description below, at least the most essential items. So if you want to check it out yourself, you're welcome to. This video was inspired by people leaving comments in the comment section, as well as responding to the community tab about what video you want me to make next. So this video that I'm filming today is literally a result of a community tab post indicating for my, my followers, my subscribers, that they wanted to see this video. So. I want to make videos that you guys want to see. Please keep interacting with me in the comments and we can grow together and learn together. I love making videos that you guys actually want to see. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video so soon. Much love.